Hi there, Lauren here. Today I'm going to do my October shopping stash, even though it is halfway through October. <laughs> um, one of the reasons why I haven't done it at the beginning of the month is because I knew I was doing a lot of Halloween looks and things, so I wouldn't get to use the stuff I have chosen and shop my stash. And um, I had a few things I just wanted to finish up with shop my stash before I moved on. So what I have chosen in the shop my stash for well, eyeshadow palettes this month was the strawberry shake, the orangey glad, and this sweet talk palette from Colourpop. So we were having a Colourpop month. So that's the sweet talk one. And the orange one. And the strawberry shake one. And um, I gave them all a good use. <laughs> lost for words for a minute. Yeah, no, so I used them quite a lot and I also did a um, duping the Baby Got Peach palette with these palettes which I thought worked really well and I will link that up above so you can see that video. And um, I made some nice looks and I've done a video on what I think of this palette as well and I thought they all mixed quite well together and um, yeah, so I really enjoyed all those palettes and I used some things I didn't use that often, like for the lipsticks I used this one which was my um, Focal Raw Glitter Lip Thing in um, Garnet, so it's a metallic lip. I only used that once, so I didn't play with it very much. Uh, I think I used my my gloss once. I used my Rimmel Kate 43 lipstick quite often because it was nice nudes to go with the peaches and things. And I also used my Ultra 3 in Soft Toffee, Toffee quite regularly as well. And I think I used this one here, which is also a Rimmel. No, this one's a NYX Butter lipstick. I used a couple of times mixed with something else because this one is a bit light for me and I don't think it looks that great. And I've only got the gloss on because at the moment I've got um, the classy cake gloss, the gold one. So that is it. One there on its own. It's called Lollies. But it's I feel it's too light for the lips. I don't like it on its own. So I'm gonna take that off. And I'm just gonna put the Rimmel one on from the cake collection. And although it's light, it's just got a bit more depth in it than the other one. And I just think it suits me better. And I might put some of my L'Oreal gloss on. Get just a bit more of an orange look to go with my orange eyes today. So when I duped the peach palette, I also talked about this other palette, which was the You Can Be One, and I have done a video on this. I'm not sure that it's out yet though. And I did a look. That and I used that today as well, but I also used um, a couple of other things today. So you can you can see a theme going on. There's there's been lots of peach and natural kind of looks going on in between all the crazy Halloween looks I've been doing. <laughs> and I've been enjoying the melting pout in the CoverGirl one. This one is called Gel Yes in 125. This one goes really nicely with the strawberry shake palette because it's um it's just the right tone of pink to go with that if I want a bold look and I also bought um this one in 100 celebrity instead of celebrity <laughs> and um this one's a nice brown and I really like these um I think I was watching Nona from um my so called Life 1977, and she was saying she feels like they're more like um, a gloss. I don't 
don't know if I feel like they're a gloss, but then I never put them on very thick. I put them on quite thin, and yeah, they're nice and comfortable, and they they don't last for ages because they're just like a like a normal lipstick lasting powder. But I like the sort of stained kind of look that it gives you. So I, I do really like these actually. And I got out various various toppers to try out with things. Some of them I used, some of them I didn't. I don't think I used my TT one at all. I've got two of these and I just never use them even though they're very pretty. You can see that. So they're, they're really pretty, but I just keep forgetting to use them. So. And the metal AF one from Stralis, I used a couple of times in rose quartz. It's a really pretty colour. Just do all the swatches on the same place, why not? Because they're all the same colour, basically. But, and, and I did use it. I used this one as well, which is the Milani one, and I'm not sure what the colour's called, it's the O1, because the sticker, it didn't come with a sticker on the bottom, so I don't know what the name of that one it is. The Focal Law in Peacock, I think I used once, the Liquid Cat Suit from Wet and Wild and Goldilocks, I used a couple of times, and um, this one I used the brush. <laughs> to use with this one but I didn't actually use this one honestly because <laughs> that's what I often do and I use the gloss from the classy kick a few times and I see anything else this one here I think I used once which is the glitter eyeliner from Chichi and Starburst which is just it's white but it's got pretty flecks of colour I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's kind of clear, so if you put it over something, can you see that at all? No, you can't. You'll just have to take my word for it. If you put it over something, it, it has a nice warm green, orange, yellow, gold kind of sparkle in it. No, you can't. As far as I can tell, you can't see that at all. Okay. But it, it is really pretty. It just looks white on my monitor, so I'm not sure. If you'll be able to see anything or not, but it is pretty. So I had quite a few things in this time, and I used them, but mostly I was concentrating on the um, eyeshadow palettes. And now I got that stick on my teeth. That's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, so I had fun playing with those, and I was also playing with products that um, a friend gave me for friend mail. So fairly recent because it's the only person I've had from now. <laughs> so I was using all these products and playing with them as well as the palettes that she sent me. So I ended up with quite a few eyeshadow palettes. Consequently I didn't use my hand palettes that much <laughs> because I was using too many other products. So now it's time to put that away and figure out what I'm going to use for the next month. So I'd also brought in some of my Colourpop things and my Dream Matte Blush and my um, Jelly Match Shadows and things and found that I didn't really use them. I used this a couple of times. I used these when I was playing with the Strawberry Palette stuff. And um, this one as well. I didn't really use them a lot because I put them in a different place. So I had them in this basket and there were still sitting on my desk, but all the other stuff was over there and I just forgot about them. So <laughs> it, it, it really shows that it really depends on how you organise stuff to what and when. So, um, interesting lesson idea that I need to keep all the eye stuff in it together to remember to use it. <laughs> So I'm actually going to keep this one in, which is the Jelly Match Shadow. And what colour is this one? Strawberry Jam. Because this is the kind of the orangey coloured one. Oops, that colour. Really dropped it. 
put the lid back on the fridge of it. So I'm going to let it keep this one in because um, I think it will go well with kind of this, these colours. So I actually already have an idea of what I want to use this month. So I've only used this palette twice. And I also got from the UKMB range this palette here, which is the Magic Spell one. I've only used this one once for a look, which you will see very soon. You see it's coming out towards the end of the month. So that's what that one looks like. And so I want to use these a bit more. So that's what they look like. And as I was going through my various palettes and things over this month, I realised I hadn't used this one for a long time. And this is the Chi Chi OMFG 2 Shopping Brights palette. And this used to be my favourite colourful eyeshadow palette. Before I started getting lots of colourful eyeshadow palettes. So, because I haven't used it for a while, I would like to play with this one a bit over the month. And see what I think of it now that I've played with quite a few other colourful eyeshadow palettes. So, I want to play with these three. And whatever I buy as well through the month, if anything. And I already know I've brought a couple of things which I may as well show you. <laughs> So I, when I brought the You Can Be palettes, I also brought this one. So this is another one that YouTube made me buy because Debbie made me buy this one because she kept saying how wonderful it was and it's a profusion spectrum palette. So I want to try that out. And then I um, had to take my dad to the hospital to get the wires out of his wrist where he um, had broken his wrist. And... Um, they weren't sure whether they were going to put him under or not, and so I didn't know how many hours it was going to be, so I just said to him, well, get them to bring me when you're ready to pick him up, because it could have been an hour, or it could have been three hours at the hospital waiting. So um, it turned out they had to put him under to get them out, because they were really tricky to get out. So I, I went shopping, and, and forced shopping, because I had nothing else to do. So I um, ended up seeing this at Farmer's, and we haven't had, this is Profusion 1 too, this is the festival one. And we haven't had Profusion in for quite a while. I haven't even opened this yet. I only bought it a couple of days ago. They, they had a few different Profusion things, but mostly just neutral stuff. So this was the other colourful one. It's got one of those plastic sheets with the names on it. So I'll have to keep that if I want to know what the names of the colours are. And I've been seeing some good reviews on some of the Profusion palettes. Well, no, Profusion palettes that I have got, I've only got two. I panned one last year and I'm in the middle of panning this one this year, which is also a Profusion. And I like the formula that I've got so far. So I wanted to try this out and it had some nice colours in it. And then I was there at the warehouse. I saw this one which was um, Essence, and I've never actually used any Essence eyeshadow before, and I think this came out last year, but we've only got it fairly recently, so this is what this one looks like, I haven't taken the plastic off that one either, but there were just certain colours, I suppose I should take the plastic off so you can see what I'm talking about, so there were certain colours in here that I thought were really pretty, like this one down here, and this one here and some of those sort of foresty greens and things I really like the look of and so I have seen some reviews on this and some people say oh it's not very good because it's not very pigmented and other people really like it and because I haven't tried any essence eyeshadow I wanted to try it for myself and I thought that would be a better one to try than some of the others and Nikki Raven I'd seen trying a few of the essence ones and enjoying them too so um, I decided to try that one. So that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six different palettes to try over this month. And that's a lot of palettes for me to try and still try and use my pan that palette stuff. So 
so I don't know whether I'll end up using all of them but I definitely want to play with these ones some more and I want to do a video on this one like Debbie made me buy it video YouTube made me buy it these ones I may or may not get into this month I may wait till next month it just depends on what else I've got going on because at the moment next month is pretty free in terms of collabs and things but that changes fairly quickly so um, if I get some collabs and things coming up I may be using some other palettes and things that I haven't pulled for shopping stash so that, and that's fine but it just means I don't use the other stuff as much Hey, I also want to look at some foundations because this one here that I am using in my project pan at the moment is nearly empty. So, and I'm getting down there in foundations now, so I haven't got a heck of a lot left. So, hey, those are my foundations. Which one would I like to use? this one so this is the thin lizzy one the fuck is there you go which i tested out and i quite enjoyed it it's a fairly natural looking foundation so i would like to try that one out to use when this one is all finished and i don't think i need anything else from this drawer because i've just got face powders and concealers and some glitter glue and stuff, so in this mascara is. I don't have anything else in it. No. Now, lipsticks. What do I like to use for lipstick? I think I might want a brighter orange, so I'll pull this one. This is the L'Oreal Colour Sensation one. You can see I've used this quite a lot, and I only bought that this year. So that's been. Is it L'Oreal? No, I think it's Maybelline. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a Maybelline one. It's the Maybelline Color Sensation one. Because I was thinking this one. But... That's, that's. I was thinking this type, but because that's the color is shine. And the Maybelline one is colour sensation. <laughs> Similar names. And what else do I want to use? I might use this one, the Sweet Talk one in Seven Springs. This is orange as well, but it's it's not a high gloss one. That's what that one looks like. This one I haven't used a lot, but it is pretty. And it's quite bright. It looks brighter on me than it does in the tube. What else do I think I might use? Um, so, another Maybelline one. This is a matte one. This is called Daringly Nude. that one. Now I've got three kind of warmy toned ones because the palettes that I've got are quite warm toned mostly. I might pull a pink because I've got a couple of oranges. This is also a Maybelline one. Is it? No, this is a L'Oreal one. <laughs> I keep getting my brands mixed up here. And this is a Colorish Matte and it's called Blush in a Rush. I don't know, I can use one handed with me, maybe. So it's just a nice pale pink. And what else should I go with? I wonder if I should try this one. So this is also a Maybelline one. This is a Mont Molten Bronze Metallic one. Mm. 
intense it's like a dark brown it's it's a strange color i will swatch it for you because it's got a kind of got a ready brown look to it so i think they might go quite well too something a bit more dark and pinky and i think i'll leave it there for now so we'll i'll put the stuff in i'll put back the stuff oh i might keep the brown melting pout out and i'll put the other one back in with a lipstick now i need to bring in a bronzer so i'm going to bring in this bronzer here and this is the wet n wild ticket to, to brazil this is a very natural color on me and it's very powdery <laughs> it's making a mess because um i think i might try and use this one up i might even end up bringing it into the project pan but i'll also need something with a little bit more color so i'm going to bring in the revlon one in the sun because um the lid's broken off so I don't like it when my packaging is broken. Um, highlighter. Now, I haven't got any highlighter in yet, so what would I like to use? I think I'd like to use this one. It's a W7 called Strobe Time, and it's got some nice kind of pinky, peachy, shifty highlighters which I think will go with the colours that I'm going with and I think I will put in my BYS highlighter 2 palette because I like to have a bit of colour sometimes in my highlighter and this is my go-to colourful highlighter palette and blushes today I'm going to Pull in my Milani one here in Floral Fantasy because I haven't used this very much and I'd like to test it out a bit more. And in this drawer, which has lots of different eye things, I think I'm going to pull in this NYX Holographic Hollow Eyeliner Eye Base thing. So you can do eyeliner with it but it also says you can use it as an all over colour because I want to um I think with the magic spell palette from you can be I might want to brighten up some of the colours and I'm gonna bring this green colour pop one too because I haven't got to use that very much yet. What else? I might bring in this one here the metal AU in emerald. So it's kind of a greeny blue glittery thing for your eyes. I might bring in this one, which is BH Cosmetics Highlights, and this one is in Psych, and it's got a kind of a purple shift. It's a pink with a purple shift, which is quite pretty. Anything else I want to bring in? Oh, maybe I'll bring in this one too. This one is Ocean Light from Focal Law, so it's an interesting blue shade. Now, I'm gonna bring this in as well actually because I've my brown eye pencil is becoming impossible to use because I can't sharpen it anymore, and um, I had. The wet and wild one, I've used this a couple of times, it down. and it's quite hard and I'm not sure that I like it. So I might try this Rimmel one. If I like this more, then I might see if my daughter wants this one, because I don't, I don't like this one as much. So I'm going to try this brown one instead, which I got free in a pack of, as a free gift for something else I was buying. So I think that's all I want to pull for now. So I think I'm going to put 
thick the stuff that I used last time. And here's what I'm pulling for Shop My Stash for the next month, I think. So there's quite a lot there this time. We'll see how we go.